with full tank trimmer. We've got, uh, we've got Grasp. We can permanently stack the HP. Grasp did get nerfed as far as the, uh, the health you gain from the rune, but they actually buffed the healing based on max HP from 1.2 to 1.3%. So more healing from Grasp before like a, a full tank build. Like going to the end of the game, the healing is going to be a little bit more meaningful. And let's see, this guy's got his. Actually, let his runic blade kind of fall off. Looking for like a one auto spin trade against this guy. So, looking to space his Q's as much as possible. Actually, let my grass drop off there. I can three wave crash this. They got Graves Jungle. And the guy ignited me straight up. And as I'm trend, I got a lot of healing. And I can play just the short grass trades. Fade up, bitch. I, he's, that's an ignite room too, so I won't be able to like TP back and stuff. That being said, I won't be able to shift this in for next wave comes in, so I have to lay this so more of the wave is outside the turret. It'll be good. This will be a slaughter. So now I'm gonna hard shift this wave, and we'll be good to go. So I still want to go hard steel with a uh, full tank trend, but since our jungler and top laner are both um, physical damage, uh, this item right here is the most broken thing in the game. Against champions that do full physical damage, no hybrid, no true damage or anything, like Riven doesn't even have percent health damage, you literally build this item, chain vest. 800 gold and it counters just so much All right now i'm taking 46 percent reduced physical damage and then i can walk up i can get grass trades i sustain up a bunch through you know my whole build but look at my runes too and we just poke this guy down with uh consistent grass procs more grass more better That's what i always like to say so get a grass proc right there. I take a little bit of damage, but again, I've got that uh chain vest. Oh hold on. Okay, maybe a bit of a mistake to spin into him. I won the grass proc. <laughs> but yeah, maybe a mistake to spin into him. Let's see if he comes around. Maybe we can get Rengard to come help. I don't see Graves here, so we're fine. I mean, we got refill pot healing. I'm about to hit level 5 off this. Get my Q. I think that was an attack speed ratio diff right there for that minion. Reading for Grasp? I mean, we're fine, right? We're back to full HP. It's the exact same situation that happened before, except like, hey, maybe I had to use my rear full pot. Maybe I could have saved him. Like, I'm already back to full. An ally has been slain. If anything, we actually wasted more of Graves' time. Oh, I'm gonna say it's pretty worth. I'm gonna stack up a three wave crash into a reset. Yeah, if Riven wants to, she can play as passive as she wants. Because how many, like, dashes she has. Rengar is playing Grubs, pretty good, considering he has a Trinmer on his team. Get out. I 
guess my W would just use his attack damage as well. In fact, my W reduces more attack damage than he gains from Conqueror, I think. Yeah, my, my W reduces 20 already, so... Alright, so we're gonna go with this, and we're gonna grab boots, so we're gonna run back to lane real quick. Sometimes you'll see Riven straight up just use R here. That way they can insta-clear the wave and try to deny some minions at the same time. This guy saved it. It's fine. Gas made the beat. Hello. Good morning. I guess good afternoon now. Got the wave slow pushing back. The Riven actually didn't get a clean crash here. So we can stack up another slow shove. So, we're just, when we get a little bit more base health regen from Crystalline Bracer, Trimmer does have one of the highest right base health regen stats in the game. Yo, Prophet, think about Trinch Prime for 20 months. Yeah, we're doing a little Tink Trimmer game. Kind of counteract. Look at their team. Their team is like full on like burst damage, full on like. I mean, the only anti tank item that they can build is like maybe like a land breeze on these two. I think, the, like, if anything, they'll go, like, Seraphs or uh, maybe Blackfire Torch. I Ribbon can build Cleaver first. Nightmare. That being said, I'm going to have a lot of HP and just regen. More so than, like, actual armor. I mean, look at that trade pattern right there. Like, she hit me with multiple keys, and I just freaking autoed her. Just grassed her to death. And then I can walk forward, and I can demolish her, her turret, and she can't do anything about this. Okay. She's doing the, the funny thing where she attempts to deal damage. It's going to cut out her ulti proc. You know, wouldn't it be hilarious if by building full tank, I'm actually able to just walk up and all in the ribbon? Look at my HP, by the way. Oh my god, that damage from the turret. <laughs> is what it is. You know, you could do you could do the honorable thing and try to build damage on Trainmer in this season. Or you can completely disrespect your opponents and just build full frickin' tank and beat them up anyways. <laughs> Be aware, do not build this against Bane. <laughs> the Bane comp is uh, no good. I'm just gonna hurt still. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna sell the shield. We get the the double giant's belt. Pretty cool start still. Once we get this, we can start farming ribbon for some procs. Would Death Dance ever be a good starting item? No, but you could just sit on the chain fast, right? Or actually, Death Dance built out of the uh, this thing. I mean, you could send double cloth armor. This will be a Pretty good. Like literally, building armor as your first item is so broken versus. Champions that deal like all are quick physical. As you okay. I mean, do I even care who she's cutting to? And this guy literally does zero damage. I am actually just face tanking both of them, and they can't do anything about it. Uh, I didn't even have to ult there, and I just face tanked Riven's whole combo. With Graves hitting me with his Q2, I'm not even having to like use any actual skill. I'm just straight up just ghosting and right clicking him. And then they die. Brutal death. 
Trimmer gets a lot of attack damage just by his levels. And with this season, with, uh, you know, attack damage being, you know, harder to come by with items, he still built tank pretty easily. That's how bold. <laughs> How pissed is this Graves, by the way? Bro, wait till I get tabbies. Bro, when I get tabbies? Oh my god. What is Unending Despair build out of? Built out of this, right? Maybe I could have sold Refill Pot for a Ruby Crystal. I kind of want to go Unending Despair so I can sit in the middle of all five people and just, like, full heal. Like, this Unending Despair item actually has such good stats. I can absolutely go Holebreaker, so they're forced to deal with me. That being said, my Dimash has already dealt 4 damage. Oh, wait. It doesn't say the damage of Demolish anymore. On the thing, it says the number of triggers. About that. Shut down. I want to be able to look at my. I don't have to look at the stats here and see I dealt 1500 damage. Rampage. Oh, I've gotten four demolish procs. And the more HP I get, the more my demolish does, right? Shut down. I mean, Tom Kench just has a lot of healing in general. With this minion. Okay, you're not gonna walk up for me to hit you? <laughs> Tank season, baby. Okay, are, are they just gonna have uh, the Zara sit with Riven? I mean, she denied my, my, my heart steal. Because she had the ribbon. That's fine. Okay, I'll still get my heart still. Boom. I got my bonks. So I will say, Eclipse does do percent health damage. But it does physical damage. So it's reduced heavily by armor. So we're actually totally fine. Oh man, if only my Yone went tank, he would have been fine. I can just sit here, man! Look, the, the Riven's almost dead! She has to go back! <laughs> Holy fuck. Still frog. You sir? Hey, I'm just getting stacked. I got a 69 bonus health. Nice. Yo, we bonking. Legit. Look at that. I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. This item. Enemy killing screen. Pretty good. Is this build good against Aatrox? Uh no. Bro, Aatrox will just full heal off of you while you can't auto him. <laughs> and then you can't do damage. It's it's good against, like, a champion with no sustain like Riven, so you just push him out of lane. Or they do all one damage type, so you can itemize against them. But yeah, you go against, like, Kale or some shit, you just get bullied. Or you go against a champion that can probably do it better, like Mundo. But this build is hilarious. When it, like it has to be the perfect storm of an enemy team comp, where they just have no tank killers, so no Kaisa, no Vayne, no uh, I don't know, like uh, Zir or something, something with like sustained damage. Their team is full burst, Zareth, Jin, Huey, Gray's Riven, Which is usually pretty good against Trinmer, except when the Trinmer goes absolutely full tank. 
completely counter him. Riven's having a rough game. I mean, he'll be fine. He'll get CDR boots and Black Cleaver, and he'll start doing some good damage. But yeah, for right now, I'm just farming him. Like, tank, tank stats are so much better than damage stats. I mean, I'm literally full tank, and look at this trade that he just took. He's half HP. He's got to go back. So it took two short shots. So they're gonna send their bot lane first, me? Okay, so. I mean, I guess I won't be able to get as many uh, Hearthstone sacks. Isn't it pretty good, though, if I bring two people to me? I'm gonna grab my Indian Despair. I have 1200 gold. Wait, so they're just having Xerath win against me legit. Like, the, the Jin completely left to go chase the Rengar now. And they're just having Xerath lane here against me because I have armor. Dude, what if I built an MR item? What do you guys think is the best magic resist item? Against, like, Burst. They build, like, a Canic Rickern. Also, it still doesn't look like I'm taking damage, does it? Spirit Visage? I mean, isn't that for, like, extra... Well, I guess Spirit Visage is at this item, right? You know, chat, you might be cooking. Yeah, because of this item, and I've got Q, I've got Triumph Heal. I'm, a I'm actually, you know, I'm down with that. Because I would usually say probably this item is best, right? Because there's so much flat magic resist. But when you think of Spirit Resistage only having 50, but this is insane. Plus, look at the gold. Only 2,700 gold. Like, isn't that kind of crazy? How about both? I feel like... I'm gonna go just Jack Show after this. To be as tanky as possible, right? Because once you have enough, you know, bonus armor and MR stats, Jack Show is just so broken. Okay, I did God this guy burst me. Okay, but what if I just walked up, ignored him, and just took a search? And then a heart steal, heart steal, and then I just walk away. What's the counterplay there? <laughs> By the way, I think I took aggro because of my unending despair, which somehow this item has healed 506? Wait. I just built this, right? Wait. Hold on. Didn't I just complete this? How does it have 506 healing? Is this not broken? Oh, dude. So 95 damage, right? And then I hit two people. That 500 might have been one single proc from the Graves and Huaybing there. Yeah, because it's 250 percent heal. Plus 187. She's tickling. Oh my god. Oh shit, she put the fucking moves on me there. Alright, I guess I'd just go back to base. Am I being chased? It's Jin and Hui who have uh, the blue trinket, right? Let's see here just in case they're actually chasing. I got a Warden and Baron in case they're doing that. Well, the more HP we have, the more this is going to do. So this is 109.
this full tank strategy is actually too OP. What? I mean, obviously, we've got the perfect storm of situations, right? I probably should build Sunfire just so I have a little bit more clear. Because especially going later into the game, like, I need wave clear. I mean, this shit's so fucking funny, actually. I mean, I've literally got wet noodle damage against these minions, but against champs, I'm just a beast. I could build, like, a Titanic or something to help with that. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, hey, there's someone who does damage. She used all of her Qs to get away from me, and then Rengar just gets kills her for free. I just want the stack. I am your worst nightmare. Um, I got Spirit Vestige in base. What about going Titanic and then Hullbreaker? It'd be good. And have a little bit of extra damage for when like they start building some pen. Might make it usable. Titanic does sound fun. And I do have the HP for it. Is Black Cleaver good? Not on Trinomir. Because Black Cleaver is, you gotta have multiple instances of damage, right? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like bur the idea of burning them though. I'm, I'm just gonna go Sunfire. We, we could also go with the Magic Resist Sunfire. Uh, I forget what it's called. All of Radiance. Just because this item, like, we get the explosions, which is kind of cool. But Sunfire does more damage to champs, because you get the extra 50% burn, right? But awards this game? Hey, we do almost have 5,000 HP. I mean, we are infinitely scaling with Vagar too. So, I'm not worried about the late game of this game. So, right now, it's getting to a point where I don't deal enough damage, or Riven can ignore me a bit, right? So that's what I'm hoping to fix this with Sunfire. Also, apparently I didn't have the damage resist taken off by the minions. Did they change that, this patch, and make it just fall off quicker? Wait, we have an Ocean Soul with full tank trainer. Guys, they are so cooked. Okay, ADC coming in to deal some damage. She does have 10. Guys, should I be concerned? Okay, I guess I should be concerned. I mean, I tanked a good, what? I don't know, like 9,000 damage there? <laughs> I, I probably should have flashed earlier. That's my bad. Yeah, this guy's coming out here with armor penetration and healing cuts to reduce the healing from my unending despair. He's countering me, bro. 8,200 damage taken, it says in the circle. Oh, it says, yeah, yeah. You gotta understand, guys, I have training my math going on here. Took me 42 seconds to die. Yeah. 41.74 second fight duration. I mean, I think the actual fight started with, like, Jin coming in, and that was only, like, 20. How's Trinmere looking right now? 
I mean, this game is looking pretty broken. I mean, with the obviously best build and trend. Hey, cry. Flosid sniped me earlier, man. And he had, I think, one of the best plays I've ever seen on a game company top one. <laughs> Don't talk about it? Okay, my bad. Delete the VOD. Oh, shit. I see he's got healing cut now. Let's go flank this team fight. My healing there was pretty good. Okay, maybe not my best idea. How much healing did I have there from ending despair? Those I have like 1500 healing in there, right? No one's gonna help there. I think I went in and my team was already dead. So that's 100% my fault. Okay, well, Looking back at the play, you didn't even need to do that. You just need to walk at me. Yeah. Just bear in there. Rope. Why don't we just bear in right now? I got heart still stacks worth. Dude, I think dying for stacks is always worth. Except if you lose the game for it. Because if you ain't losing, you're winning. I'm here all day, by the way. got Baron for free. We just walk and push in mid. I can I can be the front line for my team. We can also just pick off this Riven. That being said, I think she's just she's dead. They can fight us under their turrets, but... Alright, I'm just gonna grab this. I think we just go Jack Show last item, and then they can't do anything. Actually, you know what we should do? We should build Randuins, because the person doing damage to us is this guy, right? The Jin. And this guy also went crit. This guy's probably gonna build, like, Ordoms or something here, too. Uh, leveling up trend R increases the minimum health at which you get returned at. As well as reducing the cooldown, and it generates more fury. So if you like Q and then R, helps with that. How's my team fighting? Like, the enemy team literally did not cover mid. Why are they fighting over here? You know, macro in this region never fails to amaze me. Like, we have Baron buff, right? 
Like we could quite literally walk up and just grab their whole base if they go for Elder. Killing spree. Did my Ash just kind of carried? I, I brought Huey back, and the Jin had to get off Elder. I'm full HP, so I got mid turret and I got mid inhib. I guess I could have gone top too. But yeah, I guess we just do this now. Or we could fight over the objective, or no objective, in their jungle. Damn. He's gonna drain this guy. Let me suck him off real quick. Oh, shit. Let me suck this guy off too. I mean, what? Burn, bitch. Bro, they are so pissed. <laughs> oh, they're so pissed. I just didn't take any. Like, I'm 10% HP, and Rivenolt did like 1% health. One fifty six damage, two ninety one. I mean, he's kind of hurting. Six sixteen four shot. I mean, hey yo, Tank Trend looking kind of juiced for the season.